Moodle Course Restore. It's possible to save the course you've made on one Moodle site and reuse it on a different Moodle site. When you save your course, the process is called backup, and when you add it or upload it to a different site, the process is called restore. In this video, we'll look at how you can restore a Moodle course into your own personal Moodle Cloud site. You can also restore a course to the Moodle site of your school or organisation, but the way you do it might be different, so you need to check with your administrator first. You are the administrator of your own Moodle Cloud site, so the process is not quite the same as when you are a teacher in your organisation's site. First, make sure you saved or backed up your course using the video on Course Backup to help you. Make sure you have it in a safe place on your computer. Our teacher Sam has her practice course on her desktop here and she's logged into her Moodle Cloud site where she's an administrator. You might not be an administrator on your organization's Moodle site and that's why you should ask for their advice if you want to restore your course there. We click Site Administration, find Courses and then click Restore Course. We can then import the backup file either by clicking the button to upload it or, as our teacher Sam is doing here, dragging and dropping it in. When we click the Restore button, we're prompted to check the backup details and we scroll down and click Continue. Note how it appears we're doing in reverse what we did when we backed up the course in another video. On the next screen, we decide if we want to add this as a new course or into an existing course. Again, you might experience this differently if you're restoring to your organization's Moodle site and you don't have administrator rights. If we restore it as a new course, we need to choose the category. Our teacher only has one category on her Moodle Cloud site at the moment, so she clicks that button. Clicking Continue then takes us to another screen to check the settings, and we press Next again. We can edit the name and details of the course and decide which activities to keep. We move on again, we do a final check and then press Perform Restore. Once the process is complete, there is a green success message and Sam's practice course is now available on her Moodle Cloud site. 